Hoseo! Hoseo! Cherokee greeting. We're in that season of December. A lot of people, they're celebrating the Nativity. And one of the features in the Nativity, they have a star. And a star, they call him the Star of Bethlehem. Originally in Hebrew, that star means the star of the Queen's tent. That's what, what that is. Uh, and we have a star here too. Sirius, the star Sirius in um, Cherokee, Nakuiwaya, uh, and said it's the home, the Ohunkan of the great loving Shewolf, Agisikwaya. And that's my rendering up here. And the subject of stars in Native America <laughs> is throughout. We are people of the stars in Cherokee. We come from that cluster, the Pleiades, and Alcyone is our mother. In Cherokee, everything, everything of the earth has a star. Everything's come from a star and everything returns to a star. Also ourselves, we all return to the stars. And here my shield cover even is a rendering, a wolf uh, clan uh, shield here, of the, we call the Milky Way. The Milky Way in Cherokee is the wolf's run or where the wolf trots. So even that's where we will, we will go. We will run along the wolf's road in that way. Uh, everybody who is born is coming in with a native star soul thing. In Cherokee it's Atsibao, which is like the fire stick, you know, that you make the drill the fire. Uh, but the tool I was showed uh, was actually a piece that fits in the mouth with a, with a hole, a, a stone, and you put the drill in there, and then you have a bow, so you can hold the, the stick and go like that. So the idea of Atsibal is also, it's not a human thing, it's a thing that comes with us, and is always with us. So that's also a way to be talking about, uh, we are people of the stars, or the stars have us more, more really. And all, through, all throughout Native America, uh, in the Navajo uh, Coyote Chat, uh, where the stars turn around, I come down through the bushes, I come down, hey, hey. Uh. So you get all of that idea about the stars. And uh, there's just many, many, many things over the Chuxa Mountains in Arizona. The earlier people had seen some kind of a star. <laughs> and they saw it go down on top of the mountain they now call Star Mountain. And when they went up there, they found a giant crystal there. <clears throat> and they proceeded to uh, take care of that. And from that, there is a basket that the Americans call wedding basket, but it's really the rock star crystal basket of that star that seemed to have fallen on top of Star Mountain. So there's a little bit of the stars to start off. <laughs> and I have a poem here. And this is... Um, by Carolyn, Carolyn Dunn, and uh, she's actually a, a native of Southern California. Her ancestry on her mother's side is Cherokee, Muscogee, and on her father's side, Lenape. Maybe we were doing an announcement from the Lenape there. And she's got a PhD, and she has uh, written a lot of books. But I'm delivering her poem here today. Global Positioning System. Is this the realm of the world from the mouth of the meridian of hope, watching the black belt of lit stars shining home. We look to the map remaindered by ancestors in times of loss, of love, of ceremony, of labor, of vision, and even breath of pinpointed tiny oceans of star. <coughs> Visible now they carry the light and longing of thousands of years, sending a message from the old ones, seen now by we who remain gazing through their eyes. What moves is memory. The map to the places they called home pulses through our bones, our marrow blood carried upon the road to remembrance and light. With old eyes of memory I record these spaces of wind, of movement for generations, the constellation cartography 
a memory of what moves the air that breathes. <clears throat> Go ahead,